Hello everyone, hope you're doing alright, hope you're surviving uh, quarantine, lockdown, whatever we want to call it. Uh, you're not going too mad and most importantly, you're not gambling. If you find yourself gambling, if you find yourself tempted to gamble online during this time, then of course, get signed up for GamStop, get those blocks in place, self-exclude from anywhere you're already registered and just, uh, yeah, let's not make this more painful and harder than it already is. There are, there are fun things we can do, there are things we can find us to keep ourselves busy during this time. Um, but yeah, don't let gambling be one of them because uh, yeah, it's just going to make the whole situation a whole lot worse. Um, particularly, you know, well, now we are in this state and we can't sort of get out and about. The temptation will become very, very strong to to kill that boredom with gambling. Uh, don't do it. Um, wanted to sort of share a a bit of a positive story for the day. I spoke to a friend earlier today. Um, a friend of mine who's uh, a gambling addict has got a, a gambling problem and he's acknowledged it as well. So this isn't, um, you know. I'm not saying anything that he doesn't know, know himself. 90% um, of his gambling has always historically been done in pubs on fruit machines um, and on the sort of the new digital machines you get in pubs now. Um, the other 10% are done in bookies uh, and on sports betting. Now, obviously, um, these avenues have been closed off to him uh, over the last sort of couple of weeks. Um, he's not, never gambled online. Um, I did advise that he gets those blocks in place. Um, I don't know whether he has or not, but I spoke to him today and he said he feels fantastic. Um, unfortunately for him, he's still got to work. Uh, you know, I'm sure the company will close down soon. I'm sure the government will step in and, and close a lot of companies soon. But um, yeah, he still has to work. But he said he feels great. He said the the gambling cloud has sort of been lifted a little bit, um, albeit but not by his own choice. Um, he's, you know, he got paid last week, and he's actually still got money in the bank. Granted, there's absolutely nowhere to go to spend it, but um, you know it will still be there when this is all over. Uh, and yeah, he feels. He said he feels fantastic. So if this is you, if um, if you know most of your your gambling is done in bookmakers or you know on fruit machines and arcades, places like that, which are are no longer accessible to you, then maybe take this time off, take this time away to, to sort of think. You know, what can you do when this is all over? What can you do when all these establishments reopen? What can you do to put blocks in place? You know, because. <laughs> This is a good bit of time we've got now to to make some steps to actually take some steps to you know help fut our future selves when we come out the other side of this to to sort of continue to not gamble at the moment it's easy because it's forced but you know look at the um the national exclusion scheme for bookmakers have a look at that i'll link it in the description below have a think what you're going to do differently use this opportunity to sign up for a bank account which allows you to block gambling transactions and um, i use monzo there are there are certainly others out there, um, but they're still still functioning. You can still apply for the accounts, you can still get the cards. Use this time to move your accounts over to, like I say, do anything you can think that come, oh God, whenever it's going to be, um, you have additional blocks in place, you have additional safeguards there to stop yourself from gambling. You know, this time is a bit boring, um, but keep yourselves busy. Um, do use, while we still can, do use your one form of exercise a day. Um, I'm going for a, a nice bit of heathland, luckily, uh, near where I live. Um, so I'm just going for a walk around there. Haven't seen a single soul since I've been here, so that's great. Um, managing to, to sort of keep to all the rules, but still get out, still get some fresh air. Um, whether or not they change that in the coming days, you know, I'm not going to get political. It's not, that's not my place. I, you know, I will stick by the, the rules. Um, the way I see it, you know, the quicker we can kind of get this done, get through this and when they, uh, they start seeing an improvement you know maybe the rules will start getting a bit laxer and we can we can go back to living our normal lives but for now actually just try and try and make use of the time we've got um, if you are an online gambler like I say if you haven't done so already then use a bit of time you've got spare and let's face it most of us have got an awful lot of time spare to uh, to get GamStop in place to get all your self exclusions done but like I say even if that isn't your bag uh, when the gambling urge comes knocking it might well come for for you that way so just make sure you're, you're safeguarded uh, and if you you've already got those blocks in place but most of your gambling is done in bricks and mortar premises like pubs casinos bookies then uh, yeah use this opportunity to both get the, the exclusions in place but also um, work out what you're going to do differently and um, once this quarantine once this lockdown's lifted once we get back to normal life um, and what you're going to change to, to sort of to, to keep that at bay because like i say I spoke to a friend today he hasn't gambled forcibly for nearly two weeks and he feels great um he's he's not he's lacking that anxiety he suffers from anxieties he's, he's not suffering from that so much um he's still got money after he's been paid um and that money is guaranteed so to still be there in uh, in however many weeks time because let's face it like i say there's not not an awful lot to spend on is there 
Um, sorry for this slightly rambly video, not scripted obviously, just gone out like I say for a walk and uh, wanted to catch up with you guys because I know it's been a little while. Um, hope everyone's doing all right, hope you're keeping yourselves busy, hope you're keeping your brains occupied, hope you're getting your exercise every day um, and most importantly I hope you're staying gamble free. Take it easy everyone um, and I will catch you very soon. All the best.